Well, good morning, everybody. No shock that they did not fix the uh, whole screen situation with uh, polarized lenses with this thing. So this is the ZV-1. Um, I do have the wind cat on it. I do not have an external microphone. So it's going to give this thing a little bit of a test right now on a walk with the dogs. I think I'm going to take the double rig with us. And I don't know, we may make an adventure out to the waterfalls and kind of pit this against the RX-100. Um, I'm going to go get the other remote out of the shed, like I said last night, and uh, just put them side by side, do some testing, because I honestly was not overly impressed with this last night in low light. I don't know if the ND filter was messing things up or what. i got to figure that out, because <laughs> it was not good. And right now the background is completely just blown out. It's blue skies, but you can't tell it. What's doing, puppy dog? Hmm? The crew is here to spread more grass. i got a couple spots to do, and we're done. Let's see how this looks. Sun is out. First time in days. You gonna walk? Come on, let's walk. Just make a little lappy lap here. And we'll, and we'll get moving here. Come on, princess. Oh, yeah. It's much nicer to. I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to switch over to shorts. But, uh, second time I've been out today. Went out on the back patio to find out that they destroyed the bird feeder. Yeah, look out the back door and bird feeder's missing. Um, it, they've just, they've destroyed everything. I don't know who they is, whether it's the blackbirds or the squirrels, or if something bigger came along because the bird feeder was in pieces way down the hill. And uh, yeah, so I had to put that back together, but I still didn't, they actually did the, um, the wire that goes to it. They actually unhooked it and that's how they dropped it off the damn hook. So I might have to replace that eventually. All right, now filming on the uh, RX100 Mark VII real quick. The one thing I found out the other day when I was using this was when I threw HDR um, tools in Final Cut over the clips, you could actually make some minor adjustments for some reason with the RX, even with the ZV-1, if you're using film mode, it seems. I don't know about an auto. Maybe the way I have it set up now, if I went back to auto, it would work that way. But, um, yeah... So, and it's actually not HLG, it's PQ to 709. And it just kind of takes some of the hazing out. I did it on some of the clips last night, but not all of them. So, <sighs> I don't have my record bar, which has me concerned that I'm not getting audio. I had turned it off, and now you're in 4K 30. You were in 1080 60. <sighs> well, I don't know. When to give. Uh, these guys are treats. I don't know where Mateo went. But that one there stole Mateo's treat. She's in a little bit of trouble with me. I'm trying to calm down a little bit. Right now I'm trying to see what this uh, what this looks like. I'm going to import this footage here just to kind of get a comparison before we go off on the on an adventure. You can just kind of calm down a little bit. Just, just, uh, she just constantly goes after everything and it just set me off. So Now on this camera I have the shutter button in uh, movie mode set as a record button. That one I have it turned off because there's a much bigger record button. This one here is on the back and it's a little more difficult to reach. So I was talking about the uh, the ND filter yesterday and how it won't work in aperture priority or program auto priority um, for the shutter. I had it in program auto. I think that's why I was having a lot of issues with glitching last night. So now the cameras are set the same. So. Again, I'm looking at that screen over there instead of looking at you guys, but... Uh, my bad little dogs. Got them both. So... <laughs> I don't know what she's up to. She's... I, I left her back up. He wanted to be healed, but I covered him in a blanket because I want to try to edit this quick. I want to see what we got going on here, so... <sighs> now that I got it set right, though, I think there might be... Quite a, it'll be a better comparison, obviously. But I do have the dual bar out, so I'm going to try to put them as close together. I don't know if we're going to run all the way out to the waterfalls. We'll see. But at least the big waterfall in uh, along the, the river walk. Maybe the duck pond down in Montoro's Hill. And then, uh, yeah, that might be enough. I don't think I need to run all the way out there. It's a long trip for very little. We'll see. I have been watching videos and playing with settings on this thing for, God, I don't even know how long, it's noon already. Um, 
both cameras actually to be honest with you um, the only thing I'm not doing is what they're recommending is setting the audio settings a little higher <clears throat> because I'm doing adjusting with voice enhancement and loudness I think it makes the camera sound a little bit better I think the only thing I cannot turn on I have some of these I have it set on vivid now which I think I played with this before I might mess that back push that back but I think I have the background to focus off maybe I don't and there's clear so then it'll focus and yeah, darkened it up a bit too but you can actually turn that stupid setting off you know for everybody telling me it wasn't the battery this car starts completely different now completely different back to the iPhone we go for right now yeah I fired it up to make sure it would start and put the windows down so while the dogs were sitting in it while I was filling the washer fluid and um yeah she definitely fires up way different I think that other battery was just when I hit it it was just just sucking it right now it's something I haven't done in a while but listen to this yeah that's the way it's supposed to start I don't think I got in enough detail yesterday so basically I went to advanced auto now granted it was raining but not pouring guy gets the battery puts it on the counter i said can i get that installed please car needs plugged in i'm not doing it in this pouring rain he's like okay and i i did i had a little bit of attitude i was like okay well i don't have the tools to install it just cancel the order then and i was a little snippy i'm not gonna lie so we stood there for a minute and I'm getting ready to walk out and the guy's like, well, do you want it installed? Or do you want me to cancel it? I said, well, I need the damn thing. The car doesn't run. So he throws it on the cart, goes out, never plugs the car in and proceeds to change the battery. And I mentioned to him, I said, okay, I said, you know, do I need to come back inside for the core fee? He goes, I cancel the order. You got a battery for free. What? $288 battery for free. What? Yeah, so that was, um, I was like, at that point, now I'm feeling guilty. I'm like, well, that's not right. He goes, well, it's done and over with. It can't be reversed. And walk back inside. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I was just, I was distraught. I'm like, that's not right. I feel like I still have the battery, but, and, you know, his attitude didn't deem that much of a discount. <laughs> so that's what happened with Advanced Auto yesterday. I know I didn't go into enough detail. I was just in, in shock that of what just transpired. I think we're on the same mode, so there we go. The RX obviously zooms further. <laughs> 200 millimeter versus 44. Oh, it is. A little windy up here.
guys doing, huh? What you doing? Yes, what you doing? Oh my goodness gracious. I know. It's been a long ride, hasn't it? Yes. All right, well, let's say that testing is done, but now it's time to get home. Hopefully we have enough fuel. Alrighty, McDonald's pickup is done. They have got ice cream, they have got french fries, and they have got their own McDoubles each for dinner. And we'll put it with their dog food. And they get their, their good healthy, whatever the hell brand that is, Blue Buffalo. The McDonald's down here at the mall. It's just bone dry. There's no one here. I didn't even know if they were open. I walked in, it's like, I was beginning to wonder if you're open. She's like, we're only closed Christmas day. It's like, oh, I know that feeling. It's funny, because they know I work at Walmart, and so we're having a little cheer chat. But, uh, Okay, so one of my biggest complaints and with Sony altogether is their screen, their displays. This one, I mean, I wouldn't expect it to be better than the RX100, but it's, I mean, just as bad, maybe even just a tad bit worse when it comes to being able to see it. Especially the shot on high knob. The, uh, I, I, I don't even know what it filmed, to be completely honest with you, because I couldn't even see the screens. They're just, the, the sun just kills them. They just don't have the right, right power behind them for sunlight. All right, there you have two Memorial Day dinners for puppy dogs. They got a cheeseburger, fries, and dog food. They got ice cream for dessert. All right, well, I'm doing all the side-by-side -side testing. I think I got everything rendered finally. Uh, I did kind of short clips. I've learned over the last few times I've done these longer clipped videos of like this, and you can just overkill yourself, so. Just did short little clips side by side. Now I'm not gonna do it anymore tonight, but vlogging it, because like I said, I was using both handles. There's no way I could actually vlog side by side with that setup. But it made it where the uh, clips match up really nice, so. I haven't checked the mail in a couple days. I'm gonna drop off our we're going to stay letter. Alrighty guys, well, it is uh, going for 10 o'clock, or it is after 10 o'clock, and I need to get some sleep, so I'm, I'm actually quite tired. I, I never did fall asleep today, I don't know what the hell I even did. <coughs> I watched a friend's reunion, that's what I did, I was like trying, what the hell, I knew I watched something. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, um, and if it helped with anybody, if you have any questions about the ZV-1 or the RX-100 Mark VII, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, with the, the basically the difference in zoom, I don't really see. There's a couple clips where I see maybe a little difference in coloring, but they're set up the same. Um, but they're both pretty comparable. Like I said, it's just it's too challenging to try to vlog with them in this setup because they're both on the both handles are there, and I could do it, but I couldn't have the dogs with me. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Good night.